Okay, so last time I made my student folders and I inputted values into my grade sheet. So now I'm actually ready to run a report. Underneath first name, this first value should be your, uh, your assessment name. So I'll do chapter one test. And then total points should be in this next column. So let's say I made this out of 70. And so Mary got a 65. John got a 68, and Todd struggled with a 45. For class 7, they also did the chapter 1 test, and it's out of 70. It's going to be important that for everything, for comparison's sake, that if you can only compare the same test, so it must be out of the same points. So Tom got a 64, John got a 61, and... Um, 57. I'm going to leave Philip blank. Like, let's say Philip was not in class this day. I'm going to leave him blank just to show you what will happen. So I save this, and now I'm ready to open up the report. So if you actually just double click this file, okay, well, there it, it opened up to RStudio. If I double click the file, uh, actually, sometimes it'll just open up in R. So if that happens, you want to open up in our studio. So just right click, go to open with, and then you'll see it says open up in our studio. If it doesn't appear in this small list, just go to other and it'll open up all your applications. So the report looks like this. And so we have some options here. So the first is to enter the date of the assessment. This is optional and you can leave it blank. So I'll just put in the date this is the course letters. So for example, this is chem. So I'm going to put C H E M. This is the code that you put for uh, your class. So whatever you put for here in the spreadsheet, you put there and then which sections I want to run for. So I'm going to say three and seven. And then this is just if I want to add a generated report time. Um, Now, this is important for the initial setup. So the first time I run this, what's going to happen is I'm going to need to put in where this file location is. So here, I'm actually going to go to reports in my uh, file folder. And I'm going to right click and sit, select get info. I'm going to select where and just copy this. So edit, copy. I'm going to select everything to the right of where and copy that. And then I'm going to paste that into here, just making sure it ends with this slash. That is all I need to do. And so now if I run this, oh, <laughs> I'm going to need to select everything. So command all or edit select all. And now I run. So the first time you run it, you'll notice it has a lot of red here. This is just installing some uh, special programs, some special code needed to run this report. And then once it's all finished, it will close out. I've actually disabled that uh, feature in this video, but once it's all finished, it will automatically close out. And now I'm all done. So notice underneath completed, I have this folder or this file, this PDF report that has generated my scores. So here it shows a nice little distribution graph showing the mean and median a nice box plot. And then here it shows for those classes what each score was. And um, so how many got each letter grade and then which percentage of all the students taking it. Now this is cool in that it will show you how many total students there are in each in the classes and then how many were missing out of them. The next plots show per section. So here in the first class, there are three students who took it. 
and zero missed it. And in the next class, there are four total students, but one missed it. So showing those three values in those three letter grades. Uh, and then the same with the distribution plots and the box plots comparing. The scales will be the exact same. So this shows that this class is a lot tighter than that class. Uh, and then it shows each individual student folder. And will also show their percentile. So Mary Jones got 65 out of 70. And she was in the 83rd percentile of all students taking this test. John Smith was the 100th. So that's nice, but then in each student folder, if I go here, there is a folder for, or there's a file just for that individual student's report. So this is nice that if I have some issues with Mary, I can bring this file to a student meeting or to a parent meeting, and it shows everything. I like to store this into Google folders so that I can share these folders, and they're automatically updated. But that's it. And you're all good. And so all you need to do to run more reports is just change the assessment name and the scores.